So ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our video of Mars in the 8th house in Cancer for Sagittarius Ascendant people. As in what happens when Mars is sitting in the 8th house in the sign of Cancer while it rules the 5th house and the 12th house. And as always, we do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report at kerasastrology.com where you'll find my consultations, books, and link to my academy, Magavati Astrology Academy. So, Mars in the 8th house in Cancer. Well, first of all, 5th house represents education, children, mantras, speculations, past life deeds. Okay. And then it also rules the 12th house. Foreign lands, bed pleasures, um, expenses. Okay. It represents your subconscious mind dreams so first thing you will see especially when it comes to education you know definitely there's gonna be a technical education that a person will receive but usually this can take a person towards education in either medical surgery chemicals like i've seen many many times chemical engineering this is the also a chart of an individual who will pretty much receive property after birth of their children. It is kind of suddenly destined to come to you. Now, here's the word that I'm using. Suddenly destined to come to you. Meaning when you had no hopes that you can attain a property in your life, attain real estate in your life, the property pops up. Exactly when? Well, of course, we have to see Mahayan Antra Dasha, the timing of Vedic astrology to see what will happen. But usually it can even show either four months or four years after your ch uh, birth of your children. Okay. Um, it can even show. Th there are certain uh, age activation with nakshatra. But then again, you have to see which nakshatra Mars is in. Okay. Um, the other thing we also see, there is a sudden movement to foreign places with this particular Mars. Especially if your Jupiter is in a movable sign, again, sudden movement to foreign lands occur and also shows because Mars is in Cancer in the 8th house. One will always keep their sexual potency and their sexual desires hidden, but they're actually very, very sexual individuals. For them, that sexual satisfaction, okay? Um, becomes like this rejuvenation in their life. For them, it's very important because having a healthy sexual life will always rejuvenate uh, them within themselves regardless of whatever stress they're going through. And yes, there are going to be disputes with the family over property or over who's going to be taking care of the mother depending upon how many siblings you have. Okay? The other thing we also see, see children, children's will fight because my daughter, my daughters are arguing with each other right now. You see, that's an omen. Your children will <laughs> fight with each other. I'm telling you that that could be an omen. We just don't know. And uh, I mean, these are silly arguments over dolls. Um, but also the thing is, especially with the siblings, um, there will be. Um, disputes related to property. Also, one thing we see is that a person uh, will be able to gain through stock market, gain through speculative gains in their life. But again, but again it's not going to be throughout life. It depends upon a certain dasha, certain period. Uh, but this person I've seen, actually, I actually know someone with this particular type of a position of Mars, and they're extremely wealthy. And remember, I've said this many times, and I'll probably say it in the future too. A debilitated planet is needed for one to become extremely wealthy or uh, very wealthy, either in a birth or divisional chart. Either debilitated planets or just sometimes really uh, planets in a weak position that are not able to withstand certain moralities of, you know, the human truth. When the planets are not in a moral position, they will bring wealth. That's what happens. Uh, but, but especially if, let's say, 
certain positions are there. I've seen such people also not in, be interested in education. They don't care about education. They will simply want to pursue, you know, business and entrepreneurship with this. But also, you will see this person becomes an excellent speaker. You will see as, as they grow older after the age of 28, their voice becomes very bellowed. You know, kind of like you see voice of Amitabh Bachchan or voice of uh, uh, Morgan Freeman or even, um, I don't know, I forgot the name of this actor. But they develop a heavy voice so when they speak, it's like people feel this vibration of when they speak. And this is why such person usually can make a excellent life coach, business coach, motivational coach, especially if Mars isn't Pushya Nakshatra. Usually with Ashlesha, they can go into chemicals. And in Punarvasu, they will go into dealing in properties, speculation towards properties. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Mars and the 8,000 Cancer for Sagittarius Sun. And people, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your Mars is placed, all your astrological details, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.